Norman is the kid from UCLA. Yeah. Why don't people like him? Dwayne, I wanted to take you back to draft night in 2015, and you guys took Norman Powell with the 46th pick in the second round, uh, a pick the Bucks traded to you, and uh, for Grievous Vasquez, as you probably remember. Guys, 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 quiet. Milwaukee is in with Grievous with 46. Get it done? Get it done? Oh. Done. Done. What did you guys like, and were you targeting him in that round and looking for a trade so you could get him? Our scouts did a great job, Masai and Jeff. They did a great job. He, he had a great workout here. Uh, I remember his workout, uh, I think it was on a Saturday morning. He came in and just was a very physical and tough kid. He was the guy that we really wanted uh, in that situation. And again, I'm glad we got him. really took the fight to Milwaukee. The change in the starting lineup with Norman Powell gave them an added dimension. There were a lot of naysayers before he made that decision or when they heard of it to sit JV and play Norm, but it proved the right thing because they got better pace in the half court. Number one, we got to give JV credit. I mean, he's taken out of the starting lineup in a crucial game. All these guys have pride. I mean, they're professionals. They've done a great job to get to this point in their career. And it could have been treated as a demotion. It could have been a sulking situation. It could have been one of those things where it detracts from the team. I thought JV handled it perfectly. I told you, man. <laughs> Big things are gonna happen tonight. What's up, fellas? You know, I, I think he's a team guy. He understands the importance of just putting your ego aside and doing what's right. And to his credit, he did it. And it's interesting, in the fourth quarter, there were a few plays that were uh, hookups between Norman Powell and Jonas Valanciunas. So they were the guys that were kind of new to the scene in different roles. And they, in the fourth quarter, came up big. The refs let these guys play. It's a looser whistle. And you need men out there. You know, men that can handle big time physical contact and play through the contact. And I think having guys like that is a real benefit. And I think he doesn't mind playing in that kind of style of play. Monroe, the denial by Valentunas. Monroe hanging on his back for a ride. DeRozan finds a cutting JV and he's fouled. And now Monroe and JV and Carroll steps in between. Pushing and shoving, and the crowd erupts. And look at the response of Valanciunas, urging on the crowd. Valanciunas, the Lithuanian Lightning. Coming off the bench, he's been big here in the fourth. He has 8.6 rebounds. For me, it's all about just preparing myself, um, setting expectations, setting a goal for me, and uh, not stopping until I reach it, um, giving myself up for the team, um, trying every year to get better, um, whether it's coming off the bench, cheering for Kyle DeMar, um, the guys on the floor, um, going in there, um, making the hustle plays, focusing on defense, um, pushing the ball in transition. It's all about uh, giving myself up for the team and um, just personally for myself, just trying to accomplish the things that I have set out for myself within the aspects of um, the team. Oh, Storm and Norman to the rim over Thon Maker. Norman Powell with the exclamation point. 25 major, major hops. That's going to do it. And they now take a three games to two lead in this best of seven series. Can they close it out on the road? Norman Powell was a new wrinkle that uh, they introduced in the starting lineup last game. Tonight, he was their leading scorer. How can you adjust and slow him down, contain him a little bit better? You just have to match his energy. He's just playing harder than everybody. That's it. He's making the plays he needs to make for his team. Um, and 
just his energy and his effort uh, exchange the game. Great job with finding a way defensively. All right, guys, that's the kind of physicality we got to take there. Yeah, we remember how that, that crowd is going to be. We, we know what hostile situations are going to be. We got we to take the same intensity you had the last game there and tonight and take it in uh, on Thursday night. Okay. Yeah. We got to treat it like game seven, period. No other, no, nothing else to it. Treated like a game seven. You know, we can't be happy with these last two games. We just gotta treat this next game like it's game seven.